this is a question of paramount importance because when a person arrests time is very you know precious because within 10 minutes of the heart stopping its beating the brain starts dying and the person suffers irreversible brain damage so the bystander who may be a complete layman has to know that firstly yes this person's heart has stopped beating so what he should do is check at least two pulses one in the hand one in the neck if he doesn't feel the pulses he then calls that person if the person does not respond he puts his hand over the nostril and sees is there any breathing at all if he sees there is no breathing in the movement of the chest or in when he cannot feel the breathing at the on his uh, back of his hand and there is no pulse he should give 10 quick cardiac massage and for every 10 to 12 beats he must give one mouth to mouth respiration and also look around for somebody to help him and intervene so make that person lie down on a flat surface on his back and start cardiac massage and start giving supporting the respiration and before that lift the legs so when you do these three things you are likely to be able to revive the person and many a times we have seen certain cardiac death survivors who have been revived by bystanders who are intelligent they have done these basic things and revived that person and then called for help each one of these steps is exceedingly important in saving lives every person we have seen who is a sudden cardiac death survivor has been saved by a intelligent bystander